Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today we're going to use our Cricuts to cut some vinyl to create a stencil and use that to etch some shot glasses. With the holidays right around the corner, I thought this was a great idea for stocking stuffers. It would be a great idea for a bachelor party, for a newlywed married couple, an engagement gift, a hostess gift, all kinds of things. And it's a really simple and relatively inexpensive gift to make. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is our armor etch. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Michael's, Joann's. I think almost all of them have it. And I'm going to use a foam brush. You might also want to have some masking tape or some kind of tape in case your decal isn't quite as big as mine. I made mine extra big so that I could protect the part of the glass that I don't want to get the armor etch on. So all I'm doing is placing each decal down on the shot glass and you want to make sure that when you're placing it down that you have no bubbles around the edges of the design so around the inside of this window and around the letter I want to make sure that there are no bubbles if there are bubbles outside of that I don't really care the armor etch isn't going to penetrate the vinyl but you want to make sure that there is absolutely no bubbles inside the design so I'm going to skip through a bunch of this so that you don't have to watch me apply each one, but you can see that I'm going over each letter, every edge, and making sure that there are no bubbles or creases in the vinyl on the inside of that window or around the letter. So here I'm applying the last one. Now that I have all three vinyl decals applied to the shot glasses, and again, I made the borders around them extra large, and this saves me from taping it off. And I should mention that I am using the Cricut Premium Permanent Vinyl. I don't recommend using the removable because it is too, makes it easier for the armor edge to get up under the edge of the vinyl. So I am using the permanent and for no longer than it's going to be on, I'm not worried about being able to get it to release. Now I'm just setting the shot glasses on top of my transfer tape just to help keep them from rolling around while I apply the armor edge. And I think I'm going to grab a piece of masking tape and tape those down to secure them even further. And this is just a, something I'm doing. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted to make sure that they didn't roll once I get the armor etch on. The armor etch is a chemical. It is going to chemically eat away at the glass. That's how it performs the etching. So you want to be sure and wear some protective gloves. I'm just using some gloves that I picked up at Walgreens and I keep in my craft room for just such an occasion. You want to make sure you shake the armor etch before you open it. I've had this bottle for years. It will last you forever. You can use a coupon on it. Once you open it, it is kind of a pasty consistency, and I believe this used to actually be more white. It's kind of turned to a clay color, but it doesn't matter. It still works fine. So you're just going to dab that on. I'm using a foam brush. You can use a paint brush, but you want to dab that on, and I'm pretty generous with it. Some people put it on a little bit lighter, but I put, I'm pretty generous. I make sure that there's no glass showing through. But I also want to make sure that it, I don't have so much on there that it's going to drip down the side of the glass and onto the part that's not covered. So you just want a generous amount, make sure that it's covered. I'm dabbing it on and making sure that the entire design is covered. You want to go back and hit any pieces. While this is um, setting, you're going to let this set on here for about 15 minutes. Some people recommend going a little bit shorter of a time, but I find 15 minutes has worked great for me. And while it's setting, I do go back. If I see a spot that looks like maybe it doesn't have enough on it, I keep dabbing at it. I keep putting stuff on it. Um, I let it set for the most part, but if I happen to look at it three minutes in and I see an empty spot, I'll dab some more on there. So don't be afraid, it's not gonna hurt anything. And you can be very generous with this. The Armor Etch, when you're, once it sets, you're going to wipe it off and you can put it right back in the container. So you don't have to worry about wasting it. You can put it right back in the container and use it next time. So we're gonna let these set for about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been exactly 15 minutes and it's time to check out our design. So I'm gonna open up my bottle of Armor Etch. Again, I'm still wearing my gloves 
And I'm just going to use that foam brush and take off this excess and put it right back in the bottle. This is why the Armor Etch will last you a very long time because there's very little that doesn't get put back in there. So just scoop it off. You can use a piece of cardboard if you want. I'm just using the same brush. I don't keep my foam brushes, I just pitch them. But you can easily rinse it out, reuse it. Once you have that totally, the excess wiped off, you're going to take it over to your sink and rinse it. Make sure you put that lid back on the Armor Edge. So you can see I've just taken this to the kitchen sink. I'm leaving the leaving my gloves on. I'm leaving the vinyl on and I'm just rubbing it with water and rinsing the armor etch off. And you're going to do that to each one. Once you have them all rinsed off, you can go ahead and remove your gloves. Make sure that they're nice and dry and go ahead and remove the vinyl. And it's permanent vinyl, but since it wasn't on there very long and we just got it all wet, you can take it off pretty easily. I just used my fingernail and was able to grab it. It's kind of hard to see the design here, but I'll put a photo up here that you can see what they look like. But I was really pleased with how these turned out. I tried them at first with a smaller design and I liked the larger design better. But you could also do the reverse and just put the initial on instead of doing the opposite where I etched the outside and left the initial plane, you could instead etch the initial. That would be a really neat look. But I thought these would be a fun bachelor gift or bachelor party gift or for a newlywed couple gift. So I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration of some ideas for the upcoming holidays or gift giving occasions. You could use this to etch some casserole dishes, some wine glasses, a candy dish, a vase, all kinds of things. And it really is a pretty inexpensive project. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I would love it if you would visit my blog at laurienewtomaker.com. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon and never stop making.